Alright, hello, hello, hello everyone. This is your brother, your cousin, your boy, but most importantly, your favorite chef, Chef D, who is the owner and executive chef of mm, Good Catering Company. Alright, so um, what I'm going to teach you all how to make it, I'm going to have y'all come up and join me as well too with help cooking I'm here and there. It'll just be some chopping. Ain't going to be nothing crazy, whatever. We ain't going to have no uh, worst kitchen, uh, cook, uh, worst cooks of America going on. Um, First, um, well, one of the dishes is a, um, a guilt-free burger, as I like to call it. Um, it's basically a uh, portobello mushroom burger, okay? Um, and really, all of the work is done is just based mainly uh, marinating your portobello mushrooms. Um, I like to get the smaller ones, so they're about the size like my little sliders. But if you want to get one that's about the size of the burgers, they have the bigger ones as well, too. Um, and basically, what I do, what I've already got in here, I've got some um, olive oil some Worcestershire, and a liquid smoke. And basically, you just take all the seasoning that you would put in a burger, and then uh, put it all together with your olive oil, and put some salt, pepper, and paprika, all the good stuff. And we're gonna marinate it on top of our um, mushrooms. We're gonna give them a nice sear, and then we're gonna build them up with a little bit of lettuce, some red onion, um, some chipotle aioli, and some um, gouda cheese. And then that's gonna be our burger, and then yes ma'am. Yeah. This is very versatile. Mm -hmm. I'm just doing mushrooms because it's just so popular. I was not a fan of mushrooms at all until I got to culinary school. And then I became a fan of mushrooms. I was that person I wasn't allergic to, but I would tell people I'm allergic to they wouldn't give to me. So between that and um, corn was another thing that I did not like at all. And I was, it was so bad, I was just telling them, oh, I'm allergic to that. I can't have that. I'm allergic to it. So yeah. So um, yeah, mushrooms was the thing that built on me. But yes, you can take this. Um, if you're not a fan of mushrooms, or if you are allergic to mushrooms and can't handle mushrooms, do it with ground turkey, do it with ground beef, of course, um, ground chicken, and you can also do this with um, your tofu, and it's just a, it's just a good marinade um, for your um, mushrooms if you want to try to basically try to make over um, burgers without doing the ground beef. A lot of people are, you know, kind of staying away from ground beef or oil, just limited how much ground beef they're um, doing, okay? The next dish um, we're gonna do is one of my favorites. It is a um, vegan Alfredo, okay? This is the Alfredo that you can eat, but you won't feel uh, feel guilty or feel heavy about. Um, the pasta is gonna come from spaghetti squash. You ever had spaghetti squash before? So the pasta is gonna be made from spaghetti squash. We're gonna make our Alfredo sauce from almond milk. And then we're gonna add in some fresh um, vegetables. So we've got some um, peppers, we've got some um, asparagus, I've got some broccoli as well too, and then some fresh herbs gonna go in there. So it's gonna be like a nice garden um, Alfredo. Um, this as well, if you are not going vegan, you can add chicken in there, add shrimp, or whatever kind of meat you want to. If you just wanna, you know, kinda of keep it low carb and watch it on those on uh, the pasta intake, just keep the spaghetti squash, add your meat in there as well too. You can also, um, Go tomato um, based with the sauce as well too. If you're not a fan of um, Alfredo, you can do more of the um, tomato based sauce for this as well too. Okay? Are you vegan? No, no. I do. I, for me, I do a lot of um, two weeks. I do like a um, two weeks vegan diet or whatever, or like a month I do a vegan diet or vegetarian. Because what I do sometimes, like on Mondays, I do like a meatless Mondays or whatever. So yeah, I, I know for me because I um, I get a hanker for barbecue every now and then. And, um, for those things, um, I can't, I can't, I can't, but I can, I, for, not forever. Now I can handle it, you know, doing it for um, like a week or two, but like on years, on years. Now pescatarian, I've been thinking about switching to. I, I have a lot of friends and family who are pescatarian, but you know, for me, I love fried chicken too much, especially on Sundays when we get home from church or whatever. I love just frying some chicken, so that'll be my, you know, downfall uh, when it comes to doing that, okay? But yeah, um, vegan, um, no. vegetarian, I can be, I can, I can do vegetarian because I love my vegetables, especially when they are um, fresh. And especially some of these I've actually grown uh, from my garden, so I picked up fresh from produce as well too, because I have a garden right outside my front yard. So um, I love fresh, fresh vegetables, especially when I know where they're coming from as well too. Okay. You been doing vegan and vegetarian? I've tried vegetarian. How it work for you? Uh, <laughs> okay, so um, for our sauce, what I'm doing, I'm building, I've got some garlic in here, I'm sauteing, I'm putting a little white wine in here, because it's fancy, I like to put a little wine. Uh, 
broccoli. I'll let that reduce down just a little bit. And I just like um, putting wine in all of my sauces or whatever. Just It just helps give it a nice little twang to it, along with lemon juice as well, too. It kind of helps give you that little nice balance of flavor whenever you um, taste your sauce. So that's why whenever you um, go to those nice, fancy restaurants and you taste it, you're like, oh, what did they put in there? A little bit of white wine and lemon juice, especially lemon juice. My um, chef coming to my, uh, one of my classical trained chefs that taught me, always finish off your sauce with just a little bit of lemon juice. That's gonna help, you know, bring that flavor all together, okay? So I've got um, a little bit of olive oil, or you can use coconut oil if you want to. Um, down in here, I did some garlic, and I did my white wine just until it reduced um, just a little bit. It really doesn't take um, that long at all to reduce it. And then I'm gonna come in with my um, almond milk, okay? So this is gonna take the place of our um, half and half and our um, heavy cream as well, too. Now you can do almond milk, there's cashew milk, there's also um, oat milk. I would try, I tried with oat milk. I kind of spirit with oat milk and it didn't come out too good, but cashew milk works good. Um, almond milk, just make sure you get the unsweet and don't um, accidentally grab the vanilla one, it'll taste very, very weird. <laughs> very, very weird, okay? So I'm just gonna put this in here. And you're basically just making a um, Alfredo sauce. You're just swapping out the um, dairy for your almond milk. So this is more um, so for people who are lactose intolerant who are just washing their um, dairy intake as well too, okay? So like almond milk, like I said earlier, it's low in calories, low in sugar, so um, it's good for um, people who are diabetic, especially type two, lactose um, free, it is vegan friendly, calcium and then vitamin E, which is really good for us because we uh, wanna have good brain health, wanna have good bone health, and also have good um, eye health, okay? I guess I should've started drinking some almond milk years ago and I wouldn't have to wear, be wearing these glasses that I got, okay? But um, almond milk, I, for me, is um, something that I begin to um, drinking a lot more of now uh, versus the regular um, um, dairy milk. So in my home, we either drink almond milk or 2% milk in our home. That's what we usually drink, okay? So while that is um, coming to, I'm gonna add some seasonings, but I'm also gonna ask who wanna come up first and have me chop. I need some vegetables chopped up. It's Janet or okay. So come on. Come on, I'm scared. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna teach you. I'm gonna teach you. I got gloves for you. It's all right, don't be scared. It's about to cut something. We'll cut. I'm gonna um, cut the video and well, I'm gonna nap. <laughs> so, um, I'm just gonna have you chop me some peppers and these asparagus. I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna leave you. I'm gonna leave you to it, okay? So, I'm gonna bring you right on over here. I'll be doing the sauces with okay? <laughs> I ain't gonna leave. All righty. That's fine. So now you want to um, come this way. Uh -huh. Come down. That's it. Come on this side. We just want the sides so they keep all the seeds intact. So come down that way. Uh huh. That's it. That's it. Boom, and it's fine. And if any seeds, when I use it, I kind of knock it out right here. I kind of take my little finger, and then boom. That way I got all my just my pepper. And then you just get your strips. And all this goes to the trash can. That's all. Okay. Now while she's doing that, I'm just going to um, season our um, Alfredo sauce. Black pepper. I cook with pink Himalayan salt. I love it. Yeah, it's I much better for us. Yes, I love it. And then we can go right next door to the so like Yes, ma'am. They sell a nice little bag that I got stocks up on it. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, so salt and pepper, with that, all my kids, I just have pink Himalayas. So I keep a little bit of kosher salt, but um, that's mainly it, okay? A little bit of paprika, and then there's some Italian seasoning. I'm gonna let it come together, and then we're gonna taste it and see what it is, okay? Taste, make sure I don't need any more salt and pepper. And if I'm good, I'm just going to thicken it. Now, when I make my Alfredo sauce, I like to thicken it with just a little bit of cornstarch slurry. Now, some people, you can go to old school route, do the rooms. I know how to do all that, but sometimes you ain't got time for all that. You just want to thicken it up. You can uh, put it on the table and be done. A little bit more salt.
farm. This is your first time chopping vegetables. No. <laughs> yeah, I can say you're doing good. Oh, yeah, my okay. <laughs> well, you're doing pretty good. I'm gonna have to bring you on in as my assistant chef, Mr. Cole. You're doing good. Really, really good. Okay. All right, got my little cornstarch flavor, which is just cornstarch and water. I'm adding it to my sauce just to make it nice and thick and nice and nappy. Coat the back of the spoon, give it a nice consistency of Alfredo sauce that I'm looking for. And let me tell you, for those that's at home, it tastes just like, you know, the good Alfredo, the good, good sauce you eat about it on the jar you get from them expensive, um, restaurants and it's healthy because I like stuff that's healthy and tastes good and I don't feel bad or oh, I don't feel heavy after I eat it as well too that's the main thing you feel that heaviness and you feel sluggish after you eat that not after this this will give me some nice energy that's what I like about this right. so as soon as this sauce thickens I'm just going to cut the heat off on it because as I saute my vegetables I'm just going to add it to the um to the pot and my broccoli in here, and then we're just gonna um, shred in our um, noodles. And that's it. Now, if you wanna, you know, um, add your Parmesan cheese cheese to it, it won't be vegan then. Or you do, you can use the vegan cheese to add that to it as well too. But um, if you want to, remember, if you do add Parmesan cheese, it will not be vegan anymore. Okay, be more so vegetarian friendly. But there are some uh, vegan cheese options that you can add to it. I'm personally really not a big fan of those vegan cheeses. They, and everything is growing on. It's really growing on. They kind of taste like coffee, but we'll see. <laughs> they do. <laughs> it's growing on. And it's good. Let's see. Let's this in. I'm going to take some of your peppers and add them here to saute. Now, I ain't gonna make the saute. Now, I ain't gonna put okay. it like, like <laughs> I ain't gonna make it do that much. You go ahead and take a seat for me. I'm gonna bring it back up again now. So, get, don't rest too hard. I'll bring it back up. But thank you so much. This is perfect. Okay. Now, I'm just gonna saute the asparagus and these um, green bell peppers and orange and red bell peppers. I just love color when it comes to vegetables. I love color. And the same thing with those vegetables. I'm gonna give them just a little pinch of um, salt and pepper. I like them. I just I love all the peppers. For one, they're colorful. They're nutritious. Um, back to my little notes that I wrote down as well. Vitamin C, B6, uh, vitamin K1. That helps with our blood clots. Okay. Also, um, folate, which um, is very important because that's for DNA and for genetic building. That's what we need. Okay. Um, vitamin E again, as well as eye health. So what I like about a lot of these, you know, they have a lot of the same vitamins as well too. So instead of, you know, taking that daily vitamin, eat some vegetables. There's a pressure growing together about popping the peel. <laughs> That's it. So while these peppers are cooking, I'm gonna grab the um, spaghetti squash. Now I love spaghetti squash. Um, for these, other than um, Alfredo, I like to take them and um, do like little taco boats with them as well too. So I'll kind of scoop it out, take the meat and kind of cook with a taco seasoning and add in on some salsa, a little sour cream and cheese or whatever. That way, you know, instead of having the meat or usually when I do um, tacos, I usually do ground turkey, but if I'm trying to, you know, keep it all vegetarian, then I'll just do this as, you know, my main meat and just put all my lettuce and all the other good stuff um, on top of it, okay? So far, spaghetti squash, simple, very easy. You just take it, um, cut it in half, Scoop out the guts and seeds on the inside. And you want to um, brush it with olive oil or coconut oil, or whatever kind of oil you like to use. Salt, pepper, and roast it. And that's it. And as soon as I um, fork it, I got my noodles just like that. So that's why I love about it. Love, love, love. And I just love squash. Squash is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite foods. All types of squash, whether it's spaghetti squash, acorn squash. I love butternut squash. That's one of my favorite ones. Too. And I'm just going to um, pour it right on into this sauce. And sometimes, you know, I just got to play it by ear. Sometimes I'll cook two of them, I'll cook one of them, and 
just one half will give me more than enough pasta. But I think with this, I'm gonna go ahead and scoop out the other side and what we don't eat up, I can save. different colors. Where if you really don't have time, you know we already they sell them on the freshly, not the frozen one, the freshly chopped ones. Use those on the frozen ones until how long they've been there and they've been what's called but yeah. So if you do have to, if you don't have time to chop or you're not that good at chopping, you say you're gonna chop your fingers up, I'd rather you go and you know just get the ones that are nice and chopped, or at least you know try to experiment with chopping um, safely that you don't hurt yourself um, either. Okay? And really the the really only hard work is just um, the spaghetti squash, that's, that's the really only time consuming thing because it takes um, long for it to roast. And that's it. All right, so that dish is done. I'm gonna let it hang out until we taste it. Now let's uh, pivot back to our um, mushroom burger. Okay, I'm gonna take this pot off. I always just keep a pot of boiling water going for whatever it may be. You know, somebody might boil it later, somebody friend in the room might have to um, keep a pot of boiling water. That's why I tell all my coworkers, I can't help the birthday baby, I can boil the pot of water. I'm always be ready. <laughs> That's all I can do. So for our um, mushroom um, burgers, the longer you um, marinate them, the better. Okay, so if you did this overnight, that'll give it more time for the um, Worcestershire, the liquid smoke, and all that flavor to kind of get in there. And it'll, you know, not in a sense, and that's what I hate about um, when it comes to recipe makeovers. I'm not trying to make this taste like a burger. I'm just trying to make it taste good, okay? Now, if I do make it taste like a burger, then I'll be a magician. <laughs> but, you know, that's the one thing I'm not trying. I'm not trying to make, you know, that taste like a burger because it's, it's not for that. You can imagine that it tastes like a burger, but, you know, the flavors is going to be there. But especially if you know you're not a mushroom person, I can't say, close your eyes, this is a burger. You already going to know as soon as you bite into it. That ain't it. Now, maybe if I put some bacon and all that good stuff um, up there, hide it, it might work a little bit. <laughs> Okay, so for um, these right here, I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil down. And basically, I mean, this is it. Once you finish that, you basically just build your burger. Okay, so whether you're putting um, just lettuce and tomatoes, some onions, um, cheese, um, if you are going the bacon route or the, um, the turkey bacon route, or if you're keeping all vegetarian, you do the carrot slices as, um, and kind of turn those into bacon as well too. I like doing that as well whatever your prerogative is, okay? So I'm gonna wait for this to heat up, okay? And I'm gonna bring this platter right here. Mm -hmm. While it's heating up, I ain't gonna call you the cook of anything, you gotta start crying. <laughs> It'd be funny, as soon as I have people chop onions, they go to college, like, what's wrong with this? It's the onion. <laughs> I'm going to chop this a little bit. Now, before I chop this onion, who eats onions on their burger? Who eats onions? Onions are good for us, too. I love onions. Especially, not just raw onions, I love onions. Pickle, love them caramelized as well, too. Naturally caramelized. Um, onions are um, vitamin C. Um, also, vitamin B6, red blood cells again. Potassium, helps lower blood pressure. That's why um, back in the day, grandma used to eat these like apples. Especially when it was sweet, uh, nice, and I don't know if that was like eating like apples or whatever. I said, but you know, I cook them or whatever. I don't know if I eat like apple. Um, so helps lower blood pressure, um, helps with blood sugar regulation, so that helps with diabetes as well too. And um, bone health, all from this right here. Okay. So I'd rather you know cook this or eat this on whatever versus having to go to the store, pay a prescription that costs maybe $14, $20. I just go to the store and I get sent. Boom. That's it. Problem cured. That's it, my people. 
like why I love all the onions. My favorite one is the Vidalia. I love the Vidalia onion. <laughs> well, for me, the stronger the better when it comes to the onions. <laughs> so I'm gonna let that sear on one side, and I'm gonna um, slice just a little bit of onion off gently, because I know this table is on rise, and I ain't gonna have this table fall down during my little video. Cause <laughs> we'll cut that like that. So you like white onions? Miss um, Nicole, right? Did I get it right? I said it's Nicole Natasha. Onion fan, yes, no, maybe so? Uh, I it's not bounced here. And you, and especially you can tell when it's not bounced here. Then you're like, did you eat something with onions in it? I'm like, yeah, yesterday is it still in my breath? <laughs> Slice some tomatoes. I love tomatoes, I love Roma tomatoes. But my favorite tomatoes are heirloom tomatoes. That's what I grew this past year um, in my garden. Heirloom tomatoes are a little more sweeter. And not only sweeter, but you know, the color of them. You know, having tomatoes that come out purple, orange. Um, I love, even though it's not good for me, I love fried green tomatoes. That's one of my favorite guilty pleasures. I remember growing up, my grandma used to um, grow tomatoes. And she would call us, like, damn, get away from my garden. I was like, no, ma'am, no. <laughs> I'd go in the garden, pick all the green ones, and me and then slicing them, and I'd run through the batter. And when I didn't fry, I'd, I'd freeze up or whatever. So I, I, I have always um, loved tomatoes. Tomatoes, which is another thing I read about earlier, vitamin C, again, vitamin K1, blood clotting again, potassium. Also, um, the L word is start, um, now remember I'm country, so y'all don't laugh me, I'm about to tell you this word, slam up, okay? Um, Lycopene, I believe that's what it is, and it helps with um, it's, it's the pigment of the um, tomato. It helps with heart health, um, also with sunburns, and also certain cancers as well too. All from the pigment of the um, that's in the pigment of the tomato. Okay, and it's called um, lycopene. I'm pretty sure somebody on Facebook that's a doctor, somebody to watch this video, they're gonna correct me. But I'm just a little country boy, but I know my research. I just can't say the words right. It's just the countryside. <laughs> so that's why you know I, I you know again. This right here was maybe five cents each versus, you know, going to the store and having to pay a prescription for whatever, whatever amount, okay? Boom, so we got to sear it on that side, sear it on the opposite side, because anytime I have a burger, I got to have like some kind of sauce up there to kind of, you know, help bring it all together, not overpower, but, you know, bring it all together, okay? See, the best thing about y'all being in this class, y'all can smell it. They can't. <laughs> They can't smell it at all. <clears throat> now I'm just using little slide burners. So um, this is also um, not only healthy, but you know if you're trying to look a little dinner party where you're trying to keep it light and healthy, it's a nice little appetizer. Or if you're trying to do it for dinner and make it bigger, you know, get the regular burger buns and get the bigger, you know, quarter belly that's about the size of like an eight ounce um, burger patty. Do the same marinade, the same thing with searing on both sides. What the mushrooms? Uh -huh. It's about marinate them and uh, what's called cook them off. Either um, cook them off and prep them in my dishes. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Same thing if you were to do the uh, the burgers, um, turkey or uh, chicken, or whatever. Go ahead and marinate, patty it up, and I would go ahead and sear them off on um, each side and just finish them off in the oven. And then all you got to do is portion them in your containers. Whatever kind of vegetable, or whatever kind of starch. Cause when I did, when I used to do uh, meal prep, that's why I used to do the burger. I used to sear them off, and I finish them off in the oven. That way, they'll stay nice and moist as well too. And then I would just slide them. Cause some people ask for without the bread, and just want all the toppings. And some people want it, you know, with the bread or whatever. And I just kind of slid them all in there, and that's it. Yeah. So they, yeah, these are good. These are good recipes for making hit time. This right here, uh, put this in the little Tupperware container, or this um, what's the name? Portion it out. Until you're ready, that's it. And that's the best thing about these recipes, you know, you make, a, make them ahead. And especially with the um, the burgers, the longer the better that you all marinate them, because that flavor is going to get in there. Flavor of that, um, the Worcestershire, the flavor of the um, browning sauce, and um, the liquid smoke as well. The liquid smoke is going to um, make it taste like it was on the grill, but we didn't put it on the grill. I'm just going to tip these over. The only thing about these, um, that moisture is going to come out, so you're just going to have to tip it over just a little bit. Smell good. <laughs> <laughs> Kitchen secret. <laughs> Pecans, all, all the different wood flavors for your smoke. They got them all in liquid smoke form as well too. 
Yeah. Kitchen secret. You would have <laughs> yeah. Alright, so I'm just gonna put a little sauce on the bottom. Um, Jamie, do me a favor, go to that uh, cooler and grab that little pack of Gouda cheese that's in it. <laughs> Maybe, because she worked out so hard. Now I'm just gonna put a little sauce on the top and the bottom. And uh, my dearest cousin went to go get my cheese I kept in the cooler. Reason I love Gouda cheese. But any kind of cheese you want, Gouda, Munster, Pepper Jack, you want a little extra spicy in life, um, cheddar, any kind of cheese, feel free to use it, okay? Okay. I'm gonna give this a little bit of muscle mix. Lettuce. Love this. It's one of my favorite lettuces. Mmm. A tomato. And a honey. And that's it. A little brush of burger. Cute. Um, nutritious. If you want to make it vegan, just lose the um, bun up here. You can um, use that. Um, if you want to make it gluten-free, get the gluten-free bread. Um, some people have also um, actually used the actual um, mushroom itself as the bun. So instead of doing that, you can just kind of roast it in the oven and use the mushrooms as the bun and have all the filling, okay? So you taste it out for me. <laughs> okay? I like it. <laughs> See? <laughs> Here, this is what I'm going to get all these on the platters and just put a little toothpick on them, and that's it. It's converted. There's still this over here that's kind of marinated, having its own fun. Okay, and that's basically it. Okay, now one thing is the best part, which is eating and tasting. And then that's our Alfredo. Actually, no, let me do this. I do have some fresh parsley. Come in with that. If you want to add cheese, Parmesan cheese, remember if you add cheese, it's not gonna be wood, it's not gonna be vegan at all. And then if you call yourself a true vegan, then they're gonna find out they're gonna cook with you. <laughs> okay, so that is our dishes for today. We have our um, guilt free burger, which is basically a mushroom burger, and then we also have our garden um, vegetarian. Um, vegan friendly um, Alfredo. Now Alfredo sauce is made from almond milk. So I thank you all for tuning in on Facebook. Thank you all for tuning in on YouTube as well too. I'm recording for that as well too. And thank you all for just tuning into this class live as well. All right.